video, you'll learn how to automatically select specific rows based on a value entered by the end user at runtime. This can be helpful if you want to provide a quick and easy search function on your grid. I'll start with an ASP.NET application that has an ASPX grid view control bound to an access data source. The access data source is bound to the customers table of the Northwind sample database. For this example, I want to have a text box on the page. The user can then type in a country name and the records containing the country will automatically be selected. So, to get started, I drag and drop an ASPX button edit control from the toolbox onto the web form. I'll position above the grid control. And to finalize the visual customizations, I'll set the skin to be the same as the grid control. All right, now let's rename the default button to something that makes sense for our purposes. I select the button edit control, open its smart tag, and invoke the buttons collection editor. Here, I'll select the button and set its text property to find. Click OK to close the editor. To be able to perform callbacks, I need to set the client side ID of the grid control. I select the grid and set its client instance name property to dgrid. I select the button edit again and open its client side events editor. Within the button click event, I call the perform callback event of the grid control and pass on the value entered in the text box. Of course, you can have a mechanism that checks to see whether or not a value was entered by the user, but to keep this lesson simple, we'll assume that the user will always enter some text. Finally, I need to write some code to select the rows with matching values. I close the editor. Select the grid and create a handler for its custom callback event. This event is raised when a round trip to the server has been initiated by a call to the client perform callback method. Here, I'll create a new variable country that will hold the text value passed on to the event handler as a parameter. Next, I'll call the grid selection.unselectAll method to clear any existing row selections. And finally, I'll iterate through all the currently visible rows and highlight those that contain the same string within their country column. And I'm done. I run the application. I type Germany in the text box and click Find. You can see a quick callback being performed and customers that are located in Germany are selected. For more information, please refer to the ASPX GridView documentation. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.